My name's Mike Rowe, and this is my job. Not this job is easy. With the hill fully waddled, we're ready for phase two, covering the hillside with straw to provide a blanket of extra protection from erosion. What kind of truck is it? International, six by six. Those sticks are going to have to switch. One goes forward, one goes back. All right. All right. Let the clutch out real slow. So the idea is to go all the way to the top? All the way to the top. The goal is not to get stuck. The goal is definitely do not get stuck. Can do. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll let you drive from here, OK? All right, I'll see you up there. Right, he's got the job. the hail get too wet to blow out of the machine and we'll have to spread it by hand. That's a great motivator to work fast. I bagged a producer, a couple cameramen, and a sound guy. Not bad for a rookie. Alas, the joy that comes from causing others to suffer was short-lived when the wind shifted. It was time to hand the job back to Gordo. Well, so ends my day as an erosion control technician. We are on a farm or on the water, sometimes even underground. Today, though, I'm leaving the relative safety of the Coachella Valley floor outside of Palm Springs, California. We'll be helping the maintenance crew of the Palm Springs Aerial Team, world's largest rotating tram. What makes this job a dirty one is that for the guys who do it, all the work takes place hundreds of feet in the air. And the temperature at 8,500 feet on a winter morning like a maximum weight limit. The snow adds weight, so the tram couldn't carry as many people. So I'm shoveling the snow to lighten the load. Oh, crap. Did you get somebody? No, oh, somebody's just... person some donuts. <laughs> We're good for now. All right, so then we unhook and go up there and grease the carriage. Sounds good. On a weekday like today, the tram operates from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So we're here, foot wheels pull the tram up and down the face. The shivs, or the wheels, which attach the carriage to the track, keep things running smoothly. Which leads us to our next job, lubing the carriage. This will be the carriage, I'm fairly sure. And, uh... This is where the work will be happening. Correct. Who's this? This is Pat. Hey, Pat. Hey, how, how, are, you? how are you? Good. Good. Good to meet you. What's this called? A shiv. That, that's the shiv. It's the wheel, yeah. basically. Yeah, two, four, six. We're just dangling 60 feet up in the air. We're going to go ahead and start here with the shivs and put some grease in each one of those. And wouldn't you know if we ran out of grease? Well, this is one of those awkward moments in television that most other shows won't share with you. The boys have gone off to get some more lube, and I've been left dangling from my cable by my lanyard. Just to ponder it all, wait for the lube. <laughs> Snow makes it especially interesting. All the slickness is good. It's exciting. Well, I've never felt safer. Here for passengers like, like Dave? Yeah, oh, that's good. Good, good, good. Come on, man. <laughs> when you throw up, will it be in your hands? Or are you I, gonna I, go, don't, go? I don't throw up. I'll just, I don't know what I'll do. Will your little lips do that? Take this. Don't <laughs> hide. <laughs> You're doing great. No, come on. Nice. <laughs> 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 you really should check it out, Dave. It's a winter wonderland. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. So we're clear is that first tower. Correct. How high is that? 227 feet. Any ideas to ride up on the top of this? Yeah. Not a problem. No, it's no problem. No problem for anybody here? Doug, you can come along? Dan, you gonna come along? Yeah, you good? Dave, you gonna come along? No. No. Okay. What's top speed on this thing? Um, 10 meters. And then come across over to here. You got it, bud. There you have it. You boys are used to this. For the record. I'm not. Okay. Place the old windsock. Right. How do we do this? What we'll do is walk across this walk beam here. All right. So then we need to get up on top of the rescue ship assembly, straddle the I-beam up there, and then uh, undo the quick link. <laughs> now you want me up here? Yep. So you can go ahead and just watch any of those electrical wires. You don't want to. Is there a car coming or anything? Nope. 